Hey guys, this is going. I'm your again with the Master Box, and today we will be doing episode four of the world's greatest manager. Today's team will be Brisbane Raw, as voted by you guys in the comments section. The top two most favourite, oh, not most favourite, but the top two most liked team. It was Brisbane Raw. So goddamn it, let's do it. Brisbane Raw, the first Australian team I'm doing in the series. Maybe not the last, but then again, that just depends on you guys. So whatever team you want me to play as, put it in the comments section, and if it gets top liked then maybe I may just play as them. So, you may as well put the comment in and try your luck. But either way, guys, Brisbane Raw, let's have a look at what we got. Oh, yeah, the first thing I've noticed is, uh, congratulations, the first team which I've used, which does not have a default 4-4-2 formation. They're rocking a 4-3-3. They got a little bit of, they got the Barcelona thing happening, so uh, good on them. Although I seriously doubt this team is of Barcelona-esque quality, but... So, yeah, the formation's pretty good, but, yeah, the lineup's pretty goddamn shocking. I mean, you got some pretty awesome and some pretty fast players in the reserves and in, on the bench, which you haven't even bothered to put into the starting 11. It's just not good enough. Okay, guys, this needs an overhaul. Just give me a minute. Okay, here we go. First off, I'm sure the first thing you can notice is this unbelievably unique and intense formation. Uh, the last time I played as a formation, I resemble, it resembled an arrow pointing right to my goal. That was when I was playing as a one and a half star team, Shamrock Rovers, and I was able to beat a five star Real Madrid with a formation that was pointing to my goal. So, I have decided to create another one of those, and I've decided to call it the ball won't go here formation. Yes, as you can see, it's a 5-3-2, a beautiful formation, but either way, as you can see, we have the two wingers, which are Nakajima Fran, I can only assume, I might, that probably, I probably got that last one wrong, but either way, guys. He is 89 acceleration, 80 pace, so not 80 sprint speed, so not bad at all. Very nice fast player. And then we've got this freaking legend from Australia, Danning. Danning, 91 pace. Look at that. 91 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. I can only scapulate to say that this is the fastest Australian in the game. So, I'm going to have to utilize his pace. I'm going to have to utilize Nakajima's pace as well. Running down forward from the wings, and then passing it into these three attackers in Borussia, Broich, and Enrique. Look at Enrique. Look at those stats. Look at all that dark green. That Oh, that is sexy stuff. The only Brazilian in the team, I can assume. He's by far probably the best player, In even though it does say he's only 67. Broich is only 72. God damn it, Enrique is going to be a lot more useful to me in this side. That's why he's up for it. That's what I'm talking about. But either way, guys... That's pretty much the formation. Not too much else you can say about that apart from the fact it's a 5-3-2. So, of course, you got a lot of work in the defense. This is probably the only formation you'll ever see where somebody's using an SW because you never have, you never get a sweeper. I've never seen a formation with a sweeper before. If you, if you know of any formation in FIFA that has a default sweeper, then put it in the comment section because I've never seen a sweeper in a formation ever but it's the first time I'm utilizing a sweeper so exciting times as well as that yeah it's a 5-3-2 formation with the, the ball won't go here formation but either way guys that's pretty much all I got to say about the formation I'll stop drowning on and let's kick this off with the very first game of Brisbane Raw and it looks like it'll be against Perth Glory another A-League team Shouldn't be too hard, should it? So anyway, we kicked off Perth Glory versus Brisbane Raw. We see Neville on the ball. He'll cross it in. It's cut out. Wait, it's still gone. It still goes back to him. Smelters on the ball. Gives it to Stojovsky. I have no idea what that guy's name is. Stojovsky. Well, that's not the main point. The main point is that he scored against me in the seventh minute. Son of a bitch. I'm conceding 1-0 to Perth Glory. Not the best start ever. But either way, we got Enrique, the fast Brazilian. Enrique's going through. Enrique, who tried to lob it up to Borussia. Come on. Oh, it's just gone a little forward. God damn it. Very close. Dodd's got the ball now. Dodd's going for tackled by Nakajima. Tries to get Dodd's his tackles him again. Dodd crosses it to Stryovsky. Saved. Goes to Dodd. Shoots from the tightest of egg. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? How do you... Oh, my God. You, you just don't score from there. That is ridiculous. Look at this. That is ridiculous. What the hell is my keeper doing? How does my keeper not save that? How does he put it that perfect place? Oh, the amount of bullshit in this game is ridiculous. Hopefully that won't carry on. But either way, Borussia's on the ball. To Enrique. Back to Borussia. Borussia's still going. Borussia. To Enrique. Back to Borussia. Borussia tackled. Borussia with space. Come on. Oh my God. How have you missed that? Oh my God. 
Oh, the bullshit has definitely carried. The bullshit has... Oh, my God. It looks like they've got a corner. And it's Coyne who will take the header. Oh, it's hit the post. Wrong side. Very lucky. So, anyway, we reached half time. I'm losing 2-0 to Perth Glory. How? I, I, I just don't know. Oh, jeez. i, I got to get my shit together in the second half. But either way, here we go. It's Enrique. Enrique. Enrique with some very nice footwork. Enrique. Enrique sends Barisha through. Oh, that is beautiful from Enrique. Barisha goes through. He's going to try and finesse it past the keeper. Fails. Goes back to Barisha. Header. Goal. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Barisha collects it off the keeper. Rebounds it. Heads it in the goal. 2-1. I may still have a chance. Travis Dodd's on the ball. He'll lob it up. Smith tries to head it away. He fails it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, nearly conceded a third in the most bullshit manner possible. Look at it, but look at this. Smith, what are you doing? Smith, head the ball away. You make yourself look like a total ass. You miss the ball completely. You nearly make me concede a third. I don't see how that is how you deal with that sort of situation. Yet you are playing professional football. But oh yeah, wait a minute. I forgot this was the A-League. <laughs> so just forget about what I said about professional football. That's just whatever. Either way, Enrique's on the ball. Enrique now, going for a run. Enrique, 82nd minute. Ad Enrique's gone through. Enrique's got the pace. Enrique will go through down the wings. Enrique, he's trying to use his dribbling skills here. Enrique, still going through. A roulette, tackled, gets the ball back. Enrique, this is beautiful. Come on, Enrique. Oh, nearly putting me forward, just missing out. That was a good run, nonetheless. But either way, I had a couple more attacking chances, but nonetheless, the game finished 2-1. I have lost to Perth Glory. How have I lost to Perth Glo oh wow, okay. All I have to do is just put this one behind us. I'll never talk about it again. This never happened. Let's do this. Let's just, another game. We'll try it again. And this time it will be against Santos. Let's do this. Santos, a four star, quick Brazilian team with pace, with skill. I had just lost to a two star team in me Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to talk about it. Either way, put a number behind me. A four star team against a two star team. It's very tricky. But let's do this. But either way, we kicked off. Santos versus Brisbane Raw. Ganto's on the ball. Ganto <laughs> gets ridiculously tackled. Ganto's got it. He'll unload. It's a... Whoa. That's gone miles. That is out of the state. Oh, it sounds like the ball actually hit one of the cars in the car park. That's how far wide that ball went. Danilo will have a shot. It's saved. It's going back to Borges. Who had it. Beautiful save. Oh, man. I don't even know what his name is, but he's making up for that bullshit second goal in the last game. How did I lose to Perth Glory? I'm putting it behind us. I'm putting it behind me. I'm putting it behind me. Either way, it was a throw in. Here we go. Nakajima throws it to Parrot. Uh, I don't know half the names in this team. But either way, Barisha's on the ball. To Enrique. Enrique takes a right step forward. Enrique, beautiful. He had to go either left or right. He went right. The defender went left. Enrique made the space. Goal. Brisbane Raw are beating Santos 1-0. Wow. But I couldn't beat Perth Glory. Oh my god, I'm really bad at this. Broyage was on the ball. Broyage to Enrique. Enrique taking another beautiful step to get past the defender. Tries to get past the keeper. Keeper fails epically with the slide tackle. Space just toying with him as he puts it in the net. Runs down the wing. Just hogs possession. Beautiful from Enrique. Just keeping your cool. Beautiful work. And that's it. Brisbane Raw 2 0 against Santos. Not a bad effort from this Australian A League team. A frozen screen. What's going on here? Has he. Has he quit the game? Has he. He quit the game! <laughs> Brisbane Raw! He quit the game against Brisbane Raw! He was sent a four star team and he quit against Brisbane Raw. 2 0 is the victory. I've won. Yay. 2 0 is the victory. I've beaten Santos. A four star team. Kicking ass. Let's keep this going. Even though I beat Santos, a four-star team, with Brisbane Raw, I still kind of felt like that the team was lacking something. It was, it was missing something in, like, the lineup. So, and I think I know exactly what that thing was. Brisbane Raw is lacking me. Yes, I am playing in the next game for Brisbane Raw, up forward as a striker. Let's do this. And for all of you that are thinking that this might technically be um, called cheating, well, it's not really cheating. It's a head-to-head -head customs game, so... You can do it. Besides, I can't even do I can't even do skills. A five star skiller. I'm a five star skiller, but because it's custom games, I can't do skill. I have to rely on my dribbling. Speaking of dribble, I'm gonna stop talking about crap now. Let's do this. It is Brisbane Raw versus Manchester City. Whew. Let's do this. So we kicked off Brisbane Raw v Manchester City. 
Enrique's on the ball. He passes to me. I pass back to Enrique. I send Enrique through with a beautiful through ball. Enrique goes through. He'll have a shot. It's saved by Hart. Not the best chance taken. Broyich was on the ball. Broyich with a lob through ball to me. I'm on the ball. I am on the ball. I am running down the wings. I am running down the wings. I'm trying to get past uh, company. Trying to get past company with a fake shot. Again, remember, I can't do my five-star skills. I have to rely on my dribbling. I get past company. I've got past Richards. I'm still going. I'm going past. I'm beating company again. I let his shot. Oh, what a goal that is. You're just lost for words. He is just brilliant. He's the best on the planet. He's beaten the same man twice, he's beaten two or three others, he's left them for dead. What can I say dudes? I'm the best on the planet, it's, it's just common knowledge. Apparently it looks like this guy was so embarrassed that he was actually even just conceding or had conceded or is losing to a two star team from the A-League Brisbane Raw that he actually quit the game. I have beaten Manchester City, a five star team from the Barclays Premier League with Brisbane Raw. A two-star team. I have beaten Santos, a four-star team. Manchester City, a five-star team. But I can't beat Perth Glory? Are you kidding me? That shits me off so much. Like, oh, I just cannot get over that. How have I... Oh, i got to find a way to get over this. But either way, guys. Two wins. One of them against a five-star Manchester City team. I reckon I'm pretty happy with that. But either way, guys, we'll end it here. Thank you once again for watching this episode of World's Greatest Manager. Don't forget to put in the comment section below which team you would like me to play as next time, whether that be a team from, I don't know, uh, the Bundesliga or from any team, from Austria, from Belgium, from uh, the Netherlands, any, any team at all. I will play as any team at all so long as it gets the top like comment. So, guys, if you see a team in the comment section and you like it and you want me to play as it, then like that comment. And I may just play them. It all depends on if you get it up to the top like comment. But either way, guys, that's it for me. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Yours Again with the Masterbox. Catch you next time.